guys, Susanna here. Well, I'm here with a, what I'm going to call like almost like an online um, slow stitching class that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I've got, this is the PDF. I'll have the PDF available, but I've also got about 23, 24 kits available, which I've made up, um, which is enough to make both the strawberry one and the apple one. Um, I've been inspired by, um, I did some blocks, um, this is ones I made for myself, using the French, vintage French vines. Um, remember this piece that we made, I made ages ago and sold them, so I finally found a home for that. Um, so these are the French vintage vines which I used on from um, for, uh, Forage by Lisa Maddock. And so I... She'd done pears, and I thought, I'm just going to, you know, I like the, the fruit theme. So um, I used up this, and I'm going to be using this um, as a, like a sort of a bit of a template on how to do my own. And I've, I've gotten, um, most of these are vintage, vintage tablecloths and all that kind of stuff. So I'll take you through. So today's um, part one is cutting up and um, setting up the background and what you need to do to cut up and all that kind of stuff so um, yeah so this is what they're based on but they be, will be a little bit different to to that so but um, yeah so what we are going to do to start off with I will show you what you get in the kit in the kit you get you get actually a printout because it helps hold it together so you get that you get quite a bit, you get enough to do um, a couple of these things. I'm just going to sit down. Um, so I sort of put it, tried to put it in the strawberry side and the and the um, apple side. So this is sort of a um, vintage tablecloth and same with that one. Um, so the bits and pieces are all there. That's beautiful vintage stuff so these these three here are the strawberries now for these this part here i had an old vintage tablecloth and i've got quite a bit that are that size but not enough to make the 23 so the first in best dress with when you get the kit um i'm only utilizing this bit anyway so you will have extra bit here and here which you could probably put in the background but um i've got enough flowers but i haven't got them that big so um but i'll show you how we're going to be doing i thought i'll just show you that um then this is a leftover piece from when i had a curtaining but that is quite nice so i have that on that side then this is um some of the apple so you get the, every piece of this is a little bit different. Some of them have got apple and strawberry. So some of the bit that I'm going to use on the strawberry is a strawberry piece. So um, they are a little, because it's just the way the fabric is. It's for the centre of the apple. Now some pieces have got edging on them, which I will show you. Um, you get two of these. They're for the two apples. So some pieces like here they've got edging on them so with um definitely worth un unpicking so another, another piece of table and then like that because it gives you because i mean look at that that's a fair bit extra because that's folded over like that so if you've got them definitely worth unpicking this is from i had quite a lot of this fabric this is left over from um the hummingbird one but the colors just went so well there are some with um butterflies on them some without i've got the piece that i've used is sort of more of these flowers so you get um, most of them are pretty much the same as what i've got here but they vary differently because fabric is different so i've got this beautiful this beautiful linen fabric now this is actually a sanderson fabric i'll actually show you the edging of it um, and I had there was exactly enough to have 24 of these flower flower bits so a vintage Sanderson it's just beautiful and then everyone gets two of these that's a vintage doilies because you need the doilies and stuff for the background so 
um, yeah, so I'll just put that back. So you get quite a bit, enough to do the backgrounds and create everything on there. And also, um, I'll just put that down as is for now. Um, I'm, I've got these little red buttons. Where are they? Um, they're like this this one, except for I think just a little bit smaller. I'm going to put a couple of red buttons on there, like um, to put buttons on the... Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll add a couple of buttons and all that kind of stuff in it as well. Okay, so that's the kit. I'll put that to one side. And now I've got what you do is you get your piece, this piece here. Okay, now it doesn't matter. See, it's got a little bit of a... Uh, a um, a stain on it. This is for me, so it doesn't matter. Most of them, some of them I've had to wash and some of them were okay. So what I need, we need to do is cut. We first start off with a normal, normal cutting. What we're going to do is you cut here. Hopefully I'll be in camera. There we go. You start off there and what we do is we go all the way around. And we cut um, all the lace off because we're going to be utilising this lace. Yeah. I've zoomed in the camera a little bit, so I really hope I got that lot in. I never know until I rewatch at the end. So just cut it because all this is these bits of fabric other background you need your background fabric to put your your um your bits of fabric on um i've got these but um you can use calico or if in america they call it homespun but i just thought since it's we're using a lot of vintage stuff i'll use a vintage um, napkin that i had quite a whole heap of which was good so but you know we're going to be using we're going to be using this part so we are just going to cut that off there and we'll be using some of this lace as well so okay so now we get put that off to one side my long ruler and I'll just make a straight edge and just do this in because I'm a quilter I do everything in inches so what I am going to do it is 10 by um, 12 inches so it's 12 inches long by 10 inches wide so I just cut that along there and because this is 10 I'm, I'll probably cut that little bit off there so there you go and you've even got yourself a little bit extra that's what you've got left and then I'll just cut this little bit off always go a little bit extra just in case it moves on me. I mean, it doesn't have to be precise. That's just the measurements that I'm doing. So 10 across, 12, 10 inches by 12 inches. Don't know what that is in centimetres. Just look on your, um, the rulers usually have both. Okay, so we've got, you'll, you'll end up with two of these because we've got two bits that we need to do. Now... I'll put that out later. So I've already started with some of my design. Um, now this is the background for... Where are we? Where are we? There we go. That's the background for um, the strawberries. And I happen to have some of the strawberries in it. Like, where is it? I'm saying they're all a little bit different. Hang 10, I'll just grab this bit. 
from the kit were all just that little bit different so I happen to have so if you did want to put some of the strawberries in you could probably even just grab a little bit or even just add cherries because it's the color really so this is what I mean by we end up using just just the flower so you get your bits and pieces and I will show you how you're going to be cutting it so that little bits there so Okay, now what you need to do, you've got your big, your big piece, um, I may need to have this along here too, this big piece here, I might grab that, um, here's the layout, I've got, I've just got it on another doily, this is the layout for the, the apple ones, this is what I've got left of the apple, so that's going to go somewhere, and here's the, the lace that we're using, so what you need to do is, on from this big piece just sort of cut out you know as much as you can in the way that you can that's that's slightly just realize it just then they're slightly different so you know cut out the middle piece maybe even you know stop there if you do, if you don't want to stop you could probably actually use it like that like cut it square you know like have the square on the bottom and then do that so that's what you need to do with those pieces now this is that piece see Sanderson 1991 so that because it's in the 90s it's classed as vintage so from that big piece cut out um, where are we that goes in there um, yeah cut out that so you got all these pieces so you'll be able to see how your pieces so that red piece i actually unpicked so that red is that the right side i might go that way so we're just going to put that as is you get that piece as is like that this piece here i actually cut in half so i've got the other half on the other one so i cut that in half and i put one half of the piece on here this comes as is, and this is the leftover. So here are all my yarn. Um, this is all, all the fabric you have left. <laughs> it works out precisely. This is leftover piece from the apple. Okay, that was there. So I put the apple as far into the corner as I could so that I could utilize that extra square. Some of the other ones are just a piece like that and will have just the full green um, because they're from, I had four napkins and I had to cut them exactly to make sure that everyone got a full green piece. So that's the other half. You get a piece about that big. Draw out one of your green, you have one green apple and two red apples. So um, there's the other little piece that we put in the corner. You get a small square like this um, and you also get a long rectangle one so keep the rectangle one we're going to use on the other the other half so then I am was it utilizing this this is a big that big square piece which I cut so that I can have, because we write the word strawberries on top. And that will go down like that. So I might put that underneath there. But I've got to figure out how, whether you want them on top or underneath. I quite like that red. But that one is so thick, it really does need to go on the top. It's quite thick fabric. Okay, now this is a little bit dirty there. So that's going to be tucked under. But I might put it over the top here because we don't want it to be too neatsy neatsy if you know what I mean now what did I have in the corner I did pull it away ah, here we go then we got this piece you put that down as is if you want to you can put the tassely bits like that um, 
I'm going to put mine down like that and then when we do stitch I will stitch from about there because you use these pieces here sorry um, these are the base for you know you can use it in like I'm going to be making mine into I've got six six uh, rectangles I'm going to make it into a wall hanging but you can use them as the base so now you don't really like that's it, it's basically it's worked out that there's pretty much everything that you need in there so I've got that which I'm going to put in the corner like that and then we're going to put that there along there that's just giving you an idea and then I've got it I had a teeny little bit left of this which I wanted to sort of put there yeah that's sort of a vintage all cotton tablecloth that's a cotton um I think that was like all vintage sheeting tablecloth the vintage Sanderson that's a little leftover piece because you have your bits of the big Sanderson that you cut out and then you've got little leftover pieces so we'll start with this one um, is you get your, your, where are we, there it is, yeah. there it is, okay, you've got your pattern, and it's on fairly sturdy, um, sort of paper, I put it on thick paper, so you just cut all these out, now if you, this strawberries is, the right size that's why i created it like that strawberries and apples is the right size that um before you you know put this down put it onto a window and trace that around um on there but i mean because i it's mine i'm just going to write it on there because that's you know i can do that but trace that on there first before you sew this down okay so I mean even this, this is the this is the base. All these extras I'm gonna show you uh, this is the the applique and the extra bits that you put on the top. This is embellishment. So these are just base fabrics what I've got there. So if, okay, if you want to stop the camera and have a look, that's the basic base fabrics, and then here are how are we going to cut out and put the embellishments over the top once this is all stitched down i'm just going to quickly show you what you need to do so this is not the apple this is the strawberry so i've got these are the three apples and that's the center part and then now so from that's this square um you cut out two of the strawberry tops and one small one because you should be able to fit like it was enough to cut in to cut two strawberry tops and one small leaf then with this square which i think there's this bit here was the leftover bit from that long that longer piece and then there's a square this size so where are we I know it seems confusing like there's a big there's a big piece like that um that we put on there like and especially when you undo that you that's a leftover piece okay so there's a square which is mainly for so you do two big leaves and you actually do one small leaf but i managed to get another second one on there but i realized that you don't need it so two big leaves one small leaf and one um uh, what's the name top um, this strawberry top that's the one okay so and then you got these small pieces of this as well so you cut one big leaf and one small leaf so the leaves are for the um, I'll just put them there for the um, apples and these the tops strawberry tops are for the strawberries obviously so i've got the two strawberry tops there and here's the other strawberry top here so you just 
I made it out of thick enough so leaf 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 these all these leaves they go there so I made it big enough um, not thick enough to put to to be able to um, I can't even remember what I was gonna say sorry guys <laughs> so we'll just cut cut these I could probably um, so yeah once you've traced traced around it that's what I was gonna say I made use big, thick enough paper that you just put it on there and trace around so you need three because you've got three and so this fabric here and that I mean this you can open up if you wanted to but I started doing it and it was ripped but that's the size of the strawberry so you've got the three strawberries and the three tops so what I might do is I'll so you just get this piece you cut that out and you trace the strawberries so I'll pause it and I'll cut them all out and I will be back okay I'm back so this is how we got them and they look a bit weird at the moment but once you have the stitching on it they actually look really quite good so this is the layout to make a mental um you know if you want to take a screenshot of this layout and we may end up using some of this lace really cut that there I might put it that way um, we may end up using it on the top there I know that we're going to be or even you know maybe going across did I do that on that one I think I might have okay let's look I'll have a look at the one that I've actually done yes I think I did I had lace going across here so that lace may even go underneath just to sort of you know separate it a little bit put that there like that maybe even put it a bit lower because I like having that little bit of red there there we go because we're going to be doing I needed a plain piece here because I needed somewhere to put strawberries but I'm going to do red stitching along the top and the bottom so I think probably having it there so this is why having these are quite good so this is the layout for the strawberries okay now I've got a little bit of a layout here for the um, Here's the bit that I cut. Hang ten. Okay, back again. Now, here's the layout for the um, the uh, what's the name ones. So I've got this is a leftover bit of that big flower, and here's the other piece of that other half of that that piece that you've got now this is going to go over the top like that no definitely not the bigger side because we need the apple the red apples to go across I mean it's quite textual and it may prove a little bit hard when you're actually sewing some of the stuff down but um, it's going to go down there like that so you use the whole thing I unpicked it is this piece here you don't really need that but it's going to go on the top now actually that will go all the way down and that will go to there it just fits got to remember the background is um, you know it doesn't have to be exactly like that okay now that's going to go across there like that and then this piece here will not no I have it sitting underneath Want that going up and that going that way 
so I might have to have that up I think there we go that's why it's not working I needed it to be higher because it has got fabric here but you've got to rem remember everything sort of needs to be covered a little bit it's going to go there to, so it overlaps and then that one goes like that so you probably end up I may end up cutting that piece off you don't use that now it was a little bit longer um, so that's going to go on the corner like that because the apples are going to go that way there we go now um, I think I had some going that way maybe it's underneath yeah like that and then that was going to go on the top something like that I'll probably end up straightening that out so that is the background so make a mental note of that take it that's how you lay your background okay now Oh, we got a screenshot of that then you come on with that here are the leftover pieces of this and now these are the apple pieces so I've got a couple of apple pieces here might end up see it's not when I cut that I didn't cut it quite straight so I need to straighten that up So this is why it is so good using those doilies. I really like um, rather than using the calico because you use the lace um, and you get, you know, nice lace as part of the kit as well. So one goes underneath and one goes on top. Okay. Now. So this, all this is what I'm doing now. So I'll pause again and I'll cut up these and I'll be back. Okay, so there's the layout with the stuff on there. And then like this one, take that piece and trace over the word apples from here. And you can go, you, we're going to go, the word apples is going to go that way. Um, so just use those letters there. Now... Um, these are the bits and pieces we've got left over from when we cut out. So if you want to utilise, you know, because I didn't get to use much of that, you could probably even put something like that there. That's what I would probably do because it's such a nice green. It's a real apple green. Um, you know, you could probably put something like that there. Like utilise some of these little bits. They're only small bits, but sometimes that's all you need. Now I've got the... Actually, I might even utilise. I've got the apple piece here. And what I did on the other one was I did it here. But that is um, quite nice standing alone. Um, I may do something like that. And maybe put it down there like that. Because I'm going to stitch it. Um, or don't have the, the lace there I think I had some lace underneath because we've got this bit we use we got two of these remember so I could probably even do that and you know sew that in the corner so we'll see and here see this I mean you didn't need to put the extra leaf on there that was the extra so um, maybe cut it a little smaller I don't know we'll see we'll see how we go with that so that way you, you at least utilizing 
this too which I think is really pretty um, yeah so there you go I quite like that one so that okay so that's all we will do for this video so it's basically cutting and placing where everything needs to go so that's um, you so the next one what we will be doing is I'll, I'll um, off camera what I will do where's my, where's my bag I've got a million and one pins here somewhere so what we need to be doing uh, off camera we need to put as many pins in like keep that where you want to go and like pin them all down so that they are staying put um, that's why you sort of got to cover over each other so this layout here is all the applique and all the stuff that we do after and on this piece here um, I've just drawn it on there but you once again with the pattern um, put it on the glass box if you don't feel confident to do it yourself um, we're actually going to be stitching those in with a bit of brown um, for the seeds so take these applique pieces off and then stitch like pin everything else down so these are the bits that go on the top so that'll be your homework for now and the next video is pin everything down with lots and lots of pins so I actually quite like having um, you know the Sandersons and Sons on there but um yeah okay guys well I'll catch you in the next video where we're we're going to be start doing a lot of just running stitching and the stitching okay thanks for watching and I hope you um, enjoy this little um, tutorial they'll be quite cute when they're done okay oh by the way to the um, the kits are on Etsy um, and the ones of people that don't want to get the kids um, there's a PDF as well so I'll put that on there but there's only 23 so first in best dressed okay thanks guys bye